Welcome to the instructional where we'll be bringing together our various plan oblique projections into one single exploded axonometric or paraline drawing. We should have worked through each of the cubes creating a plan oblique projection for each cube. Therefore you should have two views of the two halves of the layered cube, a plan oblique of the stick cube and a plan oblique of the solid cube. Each of these projections should be on a separate sheet of tracing paper and be drawn to the same scale and drawn to the same view alignment. We'll be creating an exploded paraline view using the separate views you have just created. Starting from the bottom, we will take the lower half of the layered cube onto our drawing board, making sure that the verticals are true. We continue the process by taping down the next layered cube. The corresponding vertical geometries should align. Leave enough space between the views so that the lower view is not hidden by the upper layered cube. Continue the process by aligning the plan oblique view of the stick cube over the previous drawing. Like before, the corresponding verticals should align and there should be enough space between the cubes so that the stick cube does not cover the drawing below. Finally, align your plan oblique of the solid cube on top. Whilst trying to keep the cubes spaced apart so they don't cover each other, also try and align them so that the spacing is relatively equal. Use a long dashed line or a dotted line to show how the cubes connect together. Once all the drawings are taped onto your board, you would normally trace the entire composition onto a final presentation sheet of tracing paper. This type of exploded view is particularly useful to show how buildings or objects are constructed. Often you would slice a building at different levels to see how the spaces are organized and interconnected. The legibility and relative ease of construction will mean you will end up creating many exploded paraline drawings using the plan oblique view projection to explain your design propositions.